Here's our first problem for the review. Sketch the graph of the quadratic function, label the vertex, sketch and label the, the axis of symmetry, and find any intercepts. Well, for the intercepts on this thing, we will have to change this back into a quadratic. However, to graph it, we don't necessarily need it. Since this one is in our parabolic equation form, right, where we would have had a x minus h squared plus k. Now this one is uh, plus a 3 right there, so really we would make that minus negative 3, which gives us an, and this is just for the vertex, right? So we can see that our h on this is negative 3, and this is kind of like plus negative 4, so that is our k value, negative 4. And then let's go ahead and graph this point, negative 3, negative 4, yeah, about right there. In this particular problem, um, this is just a general form, it's not inverted. In other words, we could replace this f of x with a y, which means that our axis of symmetry will be up and down like this. And it should be symmetric. Whatever is on one side will be on the other side. And we can graph this thing using a table. And I've got an x and a y value. So, um, well, I can replace x with some values. We already know that when x is negative 3, y is negative 4, so that ordered pair is finished. Let's choose some other values then. So let's make this a negative 2, negative 1, negative 4, negative 5, and we'll see if we need that other box there. So when x is negative 2, then I've got a negative 2 plus 3, which is 1. 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2 minus 4, negative 2. So I got negative 2, negative 2. If we've done this right, for the x value is negative 4, it should be symmetric, meaning I should have a point right there as well. So I'm guessing that this is negative 2. Let's just double check. So negative 2 plus 3, I'm sorry, negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Bam, we nailed it. Let's look at the next value for x is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2, 2 squared is 4, times 2 is 8, minus 4 is 4. So negative 1, 4 is our next value there. Show that in the table, which means the next value uh, to the left should give us also a 4. Because again, it's symmetric. I'd be fine with that in order to graph this thing because the computer should be fine with that as well. And there's our, that's a pretty decent parabola. The axis of symmetry, oh yeah, sorry, this is, this is our vertex, let's label that. The axis of symmetry is this purple line where x equals, in this case, negative three, it's always going to be whatever the h value is in the vertex as well. So there's a, another one of our answers. Uh, but it also wants the intercepts for these. An easy one would be the y-intercept. And that's because the x value is 0 there. So in the equation that we started with, I'd have 2 times 0 plus 3 squared and then minus 4. Again, this is for the y-intercept because x is 0. And that would be 2 times 9 minus 4. So 18 minus 4, 14. So the y-intercept we found is going to be 0, 14. And that's why it doesn't fit on the graph as well. The x in oh, All right, let's find these x-intercepts then. <clears throat> um, well, to do this, we would just make this equation equal to 0 because, well, we're just replacing f of x with 0. So 0 equals 2 times x plus 3 squared minus 4. 
All right, now what we really want on this is a quadratic so that, well, I, I would use the quadratic formula for that. So, first thing I'm going to need to do is to square that binomial, which would give us x squared plus 6x plus 9. Of course, this is in a parentheses. So, this is what we have here. So, this is the quadratic after all is said and done. If we wanted to redo this and complete the square, you could, all right? But it's not necessary because that's not really what we're looking for. In order to solve this thing, I am going to use the quadratic formula. And that is x equals a negative b, which in this case is 12. And of course, would have plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 144 minus 4 times a times c. Now let me see what that is. So this is what I have. I can simplify this and I guess we can just put it into a calculator. Negative 12 plus or minus, so minus 144, uh, 32, square root of 32 all over 4. So x equals negative 12 plus or minus. I can pull a 4 out of that. So 4 times the square root of 2. Yes, I am skipping some steps. So x equals negative um, 3 plus or minus the square root of 2. So in other words, our x-intercept would be negative 3 plus the square root of 2 and 0, but also negative 3 minus the square root of 2 and 0.